Where's my big whip? Where's my big whip? Where's my big whip? Hey, hey, so here's a stupid easy tutorial that everyone can follow. So you're in After Effects and you go to, to link a layer to another layer and you have no idea where the pick whip went. Well, that's why I'm here to help you out. Move your mouse to the header bar of the timeline. Right click in this area and a pop-up menu will appear. Navigate to Columns, then to Parent and Link. Click this and like magic it appears again. I hear you already asking, will it stay the next time I open After Effects? It should. And only once in a while will it go back to hiding, and of course by then, you've already forgotten how to fix it. So it's back to Google to find your answers. I've had this happen to me a few times, so if this video is really for anyone, it's for my future self when I forget about how to fix this problem. You're welcome, Malco. Now you can go back to finishing your lame-ass project. With your mighty pick whip in hand, what can you use this for? You can link any number of layers to different layers, but ideally you'd want to create a parent layer. One layer, in this case, let's use a null object, that will be used as a central hub for all the children layers to react to. When the layers are linked together, the parent layer can change the values of rotation, scale, position, etc of all the children layers without going into each layer individually and adding those values. To unlink layers, go to the sidebar under Parent and Link, click on the drop-down menu and go to None. Any value changes will remain on the layers after unlinking. It's endless what you can do with one or several parent layers. You can have all the layers do all sorts of fun things or help keep clean setup while using After Effects. For me, I'm just going to connect this layer to this one and my animation is done. Bet you didn't see that coming, did you? Well, neither did I. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.